Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel Card Tricks. I want to answer a question for you. What is a Svengali deck? What is a Svengali deck? If you go through this channel, you're going to find a lot of tricks that use the Svengali deck. But I wanted to make one video where I told you exactly what this is. Now, of course, you can go through this channel and find all of those tricks. Go into the search field and just type Svengali you'll get several tricks that you can do with this deck. If you want to pick up a deck for yourself, you can find it at your favorite local magic store, or you can visit penguinmagic.com and pick one up for only a couple of bucks. This is one of my very favorite beginning level forcing decks. Now, on this channel, you're going to find beginning magic tricks for people of all skill levels. Plus, you're going to find tricks that you can do with ordinary items around the house. Paper clips, pens, rubber bands, and of course, decks of cards. And I'll even do instructional videos for tricks that you can purchase very inexpensively. Sometimes, though, we want to just do a card trick. And I get it. I get it. Because I love card tricks, too. One of my very first trick decks of cards was a Svengali deck. Now, what is a trick deck? A trick deck is a deck of cards that does a magic trick. It's typically not a deck, though, that you could hand out to someone and have them examine. And that's the case with this. So let's see what makes a Svengali deck special. If I open the deck and bring out the cards, from the back side, all these cards will look normal. And certainly, this is a great way to show the cards because this is going to be a picture that everyone recognizes, right? Everyone's seen the back of a writer back deck of cards. But what you wouldn't want to do is dribble the cards. Let's look at what happens when I dribble the cards. You're going to see something very interesting. Look at that. Jack of Diamonds. That's because the Jack of Diamonds is the force card in this deck. What does force mean? Force means that's the card I want to force to you. When I have you select a card, I want you to select the Jack of Diamonds. Now, of course, when you get your Svengali deck, it'll have its own card that you can use to force. It probably won't be the Jack of Diamonds like mine. If I were to take these cards and fan them from the face, you'd see that the Jack of Diamonds is every other card. There's an indifferent card, Jack of Diamonds, indifferent card, Jack of Diamonds, all the way through the entire deck. So you can't show the cards from the face. Uh, what you could do though, if you wanted to show the cards different, is you could just cut a packet like this and show, look, there's a Jack of Clubs. I could cut it again, there's an Ace of Hearts. I could cut it again, there's a King of Hearts. So every time I cut, I could show a different card. And that's certainly an easy way to show every card different. But when I'm cutting and showing the different card, the next card right here that's the Jack of Diamonds. So if you were going to force a card, a really simple way to do it would be to take your deck out. You could show the card. You could talk and say in a second here, I just want you to cut the cards just like this. And you're going to cut to a random card. Put the deck on the table like this. Have them cut the deck. Have them select the card they cut to. And it will be the Jack of Diamonds. Now, how did I do that? How did I make sure that where I cut, it would cut right to the Jack of Diamonds. How do I know that I'm cutting to a Jack of Diamonds card? Well, there's a very special secret built into this deck, and that's what makes this a Svengali deck, is the Jack of Diamonds cards are shorter than the indifferent cards. Sometimes the Svengali deck is called a long and short deck. But these cards are just a little bit taller. They're just a little bit taller. So that when your finger goes through, it'll miss the short card and select the long card. So when you're, you're grabbing it with your fingers, your fingers will always grab the longer cards and leave the short card behind. So when I cut, I'm actually picking up a long card right now. I'm picking up a long card and I'm leaving a short card. So that means no matter where your spectator grabs the deck and they and make sure that they grab the deck from the two short ends, 
right? They're going to leave behind a short card. Another way to force a card is to run your fingers down the side like this. You can say, I'm going to run my fingers down the side like this, and you just say stop wherever you'd like. So I run my fingers down, they say stop, I stick my finger right in there, right where they said stop, and there's the Jack of Diamonds. And how I would do it is, I would hold it here, say I'm going to run my fingers down, you say stop, they say stop, and I'm going to flash like that. So they see it, and then I put it back. Another way it would be uh, to run it down, cut it, show, and then turn your head. Turn your head so that it, they see that you're not looking at the card, and then put it right back. And this will keep the deck in your hands. If you're worried about putting the cards down on the table and having them cut and having them look, right, you can keep everything in your hands. If you're worried about them seeing the cards, you're saying, you know, I'm going to show the cards like this, I'm going to run through, you say stop, say stop, they see their card, and they put it back. So that's another way you can force a card using the Svengali deck. Let me show you another way that you can force a card with a Svengali deck, and it's a very fun, creative, and very easy way. First, we're going to take our deck and split it in half. So I'm going to stick all the indifferent cards in one pile, and all the uh, force cards in another pile. And this might be a really good way for you to start if you're a beginner and you're worried about showing the cards or you're worried about having your spectator grab the right card. So now we've just made something called a 50-50 deck. It's 50% different cards and 50% force cards. A 50-50 deck. I'm going to take the different cards and stick them face up on top of the force cards. So now, when I bring my deck out of the box, I can show, right? I can show all my backs. They're just normal red backs. And now, I can go through and show the faces too. Look at that. You can show the faces because they're all different. And now I'm going to turn the deck over. I'm going to say, just take a card. And really, these are all my force cards because the force cards are all on top. So I'm going to take my deck, start fanning and say, just take a card. Wait, you want that one right there? And they'll take this card. And of course, it's the Jack of Diamonds because all your force cards are on the top. So that's a nice way of being able to show, right? Show all your cards different. They're all different. Then you turn the deck over and have them select a card. They say they want that one. Say OK, and it's the Jack of Diamonds. That's a great way to use your Svengali deck as a 50-50 force deck. And don't worry if you're still a little bit confused. Make sure you go and purchase the deck. Go buy one, play with it, you'll get it. Come back here, watch this video again. Uh, and maybe you have to watch the video two or three times. But like I said, go watch some of the other videos where I explain how to do tricks with the Svengali deck. In a lot of those videos, I'm going to go over forcing cards again. I'm going to repeat that and break it down for you really simply so that you can start doing some amazing magic with this deck right away. All right, so that was just a little bit of things you can do with the Svengali deck. But if you purchase a Svengali deck, especially if you get one from Penguin Magic, let me suggest one more thing. Get a book. Get a book. This book is very inexpensive. I think it's only a couple of dollars, and it's 101 amazing tricks that you can do with a Svengali deck. Inside this book... They'll give you over a hundred ideas of tricks you can do with your Svengali deck. And the book is going to help you come up with some great ideas. All right. You want a book like this. This is going to be your best teacher. If you want to spend a little bit more money, then I would get the Encyclopedia of Card Tricks by Gene Huggard. You can also find this at PigwinMagic.com. You can find it as a paperback. You can find it as hardback. You can even find this on Amazon.com. Okay. Or if Christmas is coming or your birthday is coming, Tell your parents you want the Encyclopedia of Card Tricks by Gene Huggard. This has got tricks in here with a stripper deck, Svengali deck, normal decks, packet tricks. This could be the one resource you go back to again and again and again. There's going to be so much wonderful magic inside this book. Uh, you don't even need YouTube. You don't need YouTube if you have this book because this book has all the secrets in it. 
I hope that's a great resource. Add this to cart when you buy a Svengali deck or when you buy any trick deck or even a deck of cards. Or like I said, tell your aunts and uncles or your grandparents or your friends that you want this for Christmas or that you want this for your birthday. Books are a great resource. They will really help you grow uh, as a magician. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.